Nice having you again, my friends. In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question three, a typical sets question on the January 2013 uh, CXC paper. Now, here we have it in part A. There are 50 students in a class. Students in the class were given awards for mathematics or science. Now, quickly, we could make some quick set notation as we go along, okay, to make this a lot um, simpler. All right, so for the first paragraph there, what they're simply saying is that the number the total number in the number of students in the class, which is this yellow area here, which represents a universal set, uh, is equal to 50, okay? So the number in the universal set U is equal to 50, all right? That's what the first paragraph is saying. Now, the second paragraph, my friends, is simply saying there are 36 students, um, 36 students rather, receive awards in either mathematics or science. Now, basically what this is saying is that uh, the combination of students, right, when they add it up, the sum total in both math and science, okay, they receive a total, it was a total of 36 students rather who receive awards. So here, my friends, we could make another set notation. We could say the number of students, let me just change the color, the number of students, number, little n, of students in math union, okay, because we're taking the total, so it's the union of S, which is science, must be equal to 36, okay, my friends? Now, pretty much from there, uh, here in the second line, they're saying that six students, six students receive awards in both mathematics and science. Now, the fact that they use the word both, okay, fact that they use the word both here it simply means that they're speaking about the intersection okay so here we would have six in our intersection all right pretty much and in this third line they're stating that two x students receive awards for mathematics only now this two x must go in math okay and i and i soon address I've, I soon speak to the word only that they used out here okay in the in the final sentence they said that x students receive awards for science only again and for science it simply means that x students over here will receive awards for science no simply put my friends because they use the word only okay two x students receive awards for mathematics only it simply means um all of this set here, M, which includes the intersect, is mathematics, okay? But because they use the word only, they're not speaking about the intersection. They are excluding the intersection. So we're, they're only speaking about this area here that I'm shading in white, okay? The, this area represents the total number of students who got awards in mathematics only, okay, my friends? And likewise, um, for science, they said that X students receive awards for science only. So they are not speaking about the entire set for science, which includes the intersection. They are only speaking about this section there, since they have used the word only that I'm shading in blue. Okay, hope you're seeing that. Okay, my friends. Now, pretty much having established that, they have stated that in the in the Venn diagram below, um, which we have here. Um, they have stated that U is equal to the, all the students in the class M, M students who receive awards in mathematics, S students who receive awards for science. Okay, we have already established all of that. Okay, now in part one, they're asking us to copy and complete the Venn diagram to represent the information about the awards given, showing the number of students who each, who in each, sorry, showing the number of students in each subset. And that's an easy four marks, okay? Um, pretty much we have already started to fill this out. Um, only one piece of information is missing. And that basically is um, the number of students who did not receive any awards, okay? So they have a total of 36 stud of 50 students in the class, a total of 36 who receive awards. So simply, the, the number of persons who did not receive awards must be the 50 minus the 36, okay? And for that, my friends, uh, that would represent, uh, if you notice, I would that figure would fall out here. So that would be the number of students in M union S complement, okay? So that would be the number of students in the set M union S complement, 
okay so that's what we are going to calculate now and that is the outside region here okay so basically um, we know the total number of students um, in the class is 50 and we know that uh, a total of 36 receive awards okay so obviously 50 minus 36 would be 14 so basically what that is saying is that 14 students did not receive any awards okay that's pretty much now um, there we have represented the uh, information in its entirety here now they want us to uh, calculate the value for x and that is pretty straightforward pretty easy stuff um, basically what we're going to do we're going to say 2x there okay 2x plus 6 plus x plus 14 okay plus the 14 there must be equal to 50 the total okay so when we add up everything here inside our um our venn diagram okay it must be equal to the total number in the universal set which is 50 okay so here now my friends let's just quickly do this we have 2x and we have a x there so we could just combine group like terms so we have a 2x plus x and we have a plus 6 plus 14 okay and all of that is equal to 50 so basically my friends by grouping collecting like terms grouping like terms 2x plus x that will give us a 3x okay and 6 plus 14 that will give us plus 20 okay and that is equal to 50 now 50 20 is being added, so we must do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction, to solve for x. So we have a 3x plus 20 minus 20 is equal to 50 minus 20. Okay, my friends? Now, pretty much, guys, um, a positive 20 will cancel out with a negative 20. Okay, so we're left with 3x on this side, and that is equal to 50 minus 20. That will leave us with a 30. So we're simply going to, since 3 is multiplying x, we're going to divide through by 3 to solve for x. So 3 will cancel out, okay? And we are left with, my friends, x is equal to, x is equal to, uh, 3 into itself goes once, 3 into 30 goes 10 times, okay? So x is 10, and that's our answer. It's pretty much that easy. Feel free to leave a comment or ask a question if you're still not sure, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.